Shalom, shalom, family. Shalom. Yes, we have to be quiet. Yes, welcome to the channel, guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about something very serious, like always. But I know you guys see the background. That's a pool. Hallelujah. Um, if you want to know more about the pool, make sure you follow our members only um, mm -hmm. to let you guys know how mm -hmm. we are sitting right here. But the most high is good. But that's yes, not he is. why we're here on this video. We're here to talk about the state of the diaspora. The state of the diaspora, y'all. So when we left America in 2020 to come to Africa, things were much different than they are now. There were obviously weren't as many people coming. Um, obviously, different presidents were in power. Obviously, different things were happening. But I want to say that corruption on the continent is at an all time yes. high. Yes. Now, what corruption are we talking about? Let, let's let's do a little like like imaginary storytelling. Imagine you're going into you know a lawyer's office, and they tell you you know it's going to be five hundred dollars or whatever to do some kind of service. Then they jack it up and charge it five thousand dollars instead of five hundred, like they told you. And then they're like, "Well, this is the custom here, so you're gonna have to roll with that." That's too much. <laughs> That's the corruption that we. <laughs> Uh, have to deal with um and not just us many diaspora yeah but with that if being not said, hundreds it's everywhere even the country that we're in right now i was talking to one of our drivers mm -hmm. and i was explaining to him that um where we came from which is tanzania i'm pretty sure everybody know we're in tanzania that's watching this mm -hmm. and we recently left mm -hmm. i told him, hey the corruption is, is bad there once you start to get um to a higher level mm -hmm. and you start to do business and you have to deal with uh the people in power mm -hmm. um there's a lot of corruption he said oh this this is corruption here too um it's corruption i'm like wow so that means it's corruption everywhere and just the whole world and it is written in ah, i want to say isaiah where satan he basically want to be like the Mosai and corrupt the whole world the, the the way that he wants it so it was written way before the countries in africa the states in america so we have to think about that too but yeah for sure with this corruption now it has been exposed a lot so that means that it is coming down to a time where you have to be in position to accept the most highest promise yeah be in position to use wisdom first of all don't just run out throwing all your money at one thing without diversifying and getting experience traveling. You know, when we were in Tanzania, we traveled all up and down the Swahili coast. We got a good glimpse of a lot of areas that even locals didn't have a glimpse into because we traveled so much. You know, there's actually this book that was taken out of the Bible called the Book of Sirach. It's known for being a book of wisdom. wisdom yes. And in that book, it talks about how the traveler is wiser than those who don't travel. They have more experience, more knowledge, and they get to see the world from these different perspectives, okay? Yes. So you want to travel. As you're coming to Africa and you're choosing a place, at least travel, visit different places. That doesn't mean that you have to travel and go back to the U.S. You can travel one country and then travel to another country. And then say, okay, which one do I feel more comfortable in? Which one yeah. has better laws? Which one has least corruption? We've been telling y'all, check out the list of the least corrupt countries in Africa. You know, we also just start telling y'all, look for the countries that support creative entrepreneurship. Yeah, online presence. Because the creator economy. We were uh, talking about that too, our driver. Um, he, he said, oh, COVID, COVID ruined a lot of face-to-face -face things and it brought to this mm. country that we're in a lot of online presence right and like wow that right that is true so everybody everybody was locked down on covid the whole world like it's literally the whole world so that online presence increased like i want to say 400 percent to 200 or 400 percent something like that i'm not mm -hmm. sure the exact uh, factual number but it increased and that's what everybody does is online so that's important and if you're traveling people are going to watch so it's important to travel because the traveling comes with the experience experience comes with growth 
you have to grow through life and live life more abundantly. Yep. So yes. we are hosting the State of the Diaspora, and you only have like two hours to sign up, honestly. Like you have a little bit of a time span because that's it. Sign up is literally about to end. It's tomorrow, Sunday at... 2 p.m. Eastern. And so you will have the ability to be in the room with us so that we can go over more in depth the exact things that happened, the exact way to move forward and how we should be thinking as the global diaspora. If we want to stay here long term, also understand there are certain giants, Psalms 83, that are in these areas that we're basically waiting for our people to return and trying to thwart that movement. But we know all of these things are under our feet is the elect of the most high still knowing this we have to communicate with you and share this pertinent information with you so that you can move with wisdom discernment and live your dream life in africa yes it's important to live your dream life in africa so guys we will see you very soon make sure you sign up for the state of the diaspora so we can go in depth of the information that we have to share with our experience traveling yep See you tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern, Sunday, March 10th. Talk then. Shalom, guys. Shalom.